Hi, I'm Jack. I'm in Canberra for the week and something will be filmed. In today's quick video, we make guns go bang. Here's a clip from a film that's taking a fuck ton of time to edit between everything else I'm doing. So, let's make it more exciting. Here's what the final product will look like. And before we begin, take note that I didn't do any time remapping in After Effects, but in Premiere. And that's why the final product is a lot snappier. I will not be showing how to do bullet hits and blood effects in this video. Now there are four visual elements to a gunshot. You can find stock resources similar to what I'm using for free online, otherwise you can fork out the cash for visual effects packages like Action Essentials or Triune, otherwise known as Film Riot's Fantastic Muzzle Flashes pack. The first element, the muzzle flash. Jam this fucker where the gun goes boom, resize if necessary, change the blending mode to screen, recolor to match the scene. I'll do this later because I forgot. Second element, the smoke. If there's motion in the shot, track a stationary object. You can use After Effects inbuilt tracking or the free Mocha plugin. I use Mocha. Just define an area, track forward and ahead, copy data, paste to a null, making sure the playhead is at the start of your composition, jam your smoke in, fuck with the colour, fiddle with the blending mode, parent it to your tracking, and boom, it moves within the space. Now if you turn on motion blur, it suddenly looks fabulous. Third element, the shell ejection. Again, if there's movement, track it to the space. Jam it on, set two points, start and end for animation, imagine it one frame ahead and behind of where it will appear and disappear. Move the keyframes to one before and after, parent of the tracking, turn on motion blur, and boom. Fourth element, lighting. Make an adjustment layer, jam on tint. You might want to make sure the tint's a little warmer. Change the blending mode to add. Mask all the regions that you think would be lit by the gunshot. Let's fiddle with the opacity of each mask on how lit that region would be. Feather and expand the bastards. Because the elements of the image move between frames, I'll also keyframe and move the masks. This adjustment layer needs to last one to three frames. It's personal preference. For two or three frames, set the opacity to fade with the keyframes. I'll do two, and play it back. It looks alright. If you nail the sound, you can really sell the effect. Here's the final clip again with rudimentary rough sound, using FilmWrite's Total Guns bundle. And have fun shooting shit. Pew pew. Bang bang. Wee. Bye.